Good afternoon, uh, Pastor Brian here from uh, Back Patio on uh, Patio Swing. Uh, it's Wednesday, a time for a midweek prayer and meditation, reflection, and uh, it's, it's a little cloud cover, which I'm grateful for because it's quite warm out here, typically without that, uh, the grace of clouds. Uh, the patio, right, right behind me, you can see hanging right up back here. I don't think I can reach it, but uh, that's a wind chime. And the wind's blown enough that it's chiming a bit, so hopefully it'll do that a little bit during this time. But it's a chime that, that was given to uh, our family from a friend of my mother's, uh, and, or as a reminder of mom, uh, who died back in April. And so when I hear the chimes now, it, it uh, certainly is a peaceful reminder of my mother. So it's, it's neat to have those types of things that are kind of, oh, serendipitous interruptions in your day because uh, I'll be out working in the yard or something and, and then I'll hear that and uh, it causes you to pause and reflect and, and think you know about life and relationships so uh, today I'm I'm tired I uh, got my fourth booster or fourth shot two regular and two boosters four I don't still don't know how to what to call that but uh, so I'm COVID uh, weary. Uh, I got a soreness in my arm and didn't sleep that great last night, uh, so my mind's kind of foggy that way, but uh, uh, I'm grateful that I was able to get that, and with the amount of the new variant, the uh, BA5 or 15, whichever it is, BA5 I think, it seems to be catching lots of people. Uh, my friend just returned from a trip, and he and his wife, and uh, one daughter at least, uh, were infected with the virus, so uh, it's not pleasant, uh, but it's still ever present with us. This, uh, I spent the weekend uh, with uh, my son Nick down in Texas, uh, and he's getting ready, uh, was supposed to deploy, but got delayed. Uh, it's, it's in the Army now, and so we're prayers for him as he uh, waits to ship out, uh, and, uh, uh, but also just keeping an eye on what's the affairs of the world and what's happening there. In the First Lutheran Faith community, we uh, are mindful of our continued journey uh, uh, in mediation and uh, seeking to make the bell tower safe so we can return. I am feel hopeful that uh, shortly we'll have some really good news on that front and we'll actually see some progress in the area of getting some work started, hopefully. Uh, that uh, It's been a month. Uh, last Sunday was a month from when we voted as a congregation to pursue that path and it just goes to show the complexities of uh, the litigation and mediation and the ongoing uh, you know interaction with contractors and, and city and whatnot so continue to pray for those in leadership as we uh, seek to get back in our building uh, that, that's, that's very important our communities together first Lutheran and, and Philippus are uh, continue to journey together and continue to be in conversation about what's ministry look like in the future and I look forward to uh, rolling out some more formal conversations here in the coming weeks or months. I also look forward to just continuing to build that relationship. This Sunday at 11, we'll be worshiping in Washington Park, so bring a soccer chair, and we'll be right in front of the church at 1208 Ray Street, that is, so Washington Park, and uh, it's going to be warm, but we'll be in the shade, and then afterwards, we'll catch the streetcar, those that want to ride, and we'll meet down at uh, Great American Ballpark for the 140 Reds game. Uh, tickets we'll buy at the window, box office, and uh, I, we'll, we'll make sure to buy some in the, sh the upper deck shade, uh, shaded area uh, in the sun. It's supposed to be 90 degrees or 93, so I don't think anyone wants to sit in the red stadium in the full-on sun. So cost is $10. The church will cover uh, any extra over that, so probably a 15 or $20 ticket. Uh, but uh, $10 would be your share on that. So uh, it, let me know if you're coming just so I can kind of look for you and make sure we get you in the gate, uh, but otherwise uh, and, and invite friends as well. Beyond that, uh, we continue to see news uh, about the Uvalde shootings and uh, shooting and uh, uh, the, the trauma that continues to be inflicted upon the families as as they endure meetings about uh, the details of what happened or did not happen. It seems to be the case, and uh, that's unimaginable. And so we pray for them. Uh, another shooting in in that mall in Indiana. Uh, they just don't seem, they, they don't go away, and, and uh, that's the brokenness of our world, and, and uh, we need to be persistent in finding ways to overcome that. Uh, uh, but it's often a discouraging uh, 
thing to reflect on. So with that, uh, I guess I'll leave it at that, and I'll just invite you to join with me in prayer. The Lord be with you. Gracious God, uh, thank you for uh, this summer day. Uh, I can be outside in, the, uh, in with some shade and the wind blowing. Uh, reminded of Mom. I think of uh, those who have been infected with COVID in our world. Uh, may they be uh, protected from serious disease, and may the medical community and researchers provide uh, treatments to minimize uh, the impact of the disease when you become infected. Uh, be with uh, our faith community as we continue to journey uh, through these unusual times, uh, but yet you provide hope with creative thinking and leadership and ideas. Uh, so bless uh, the, the latest thinking that we might be able to return to our faith community, our building, our sacred space uh, sooner rather than later and continue our efforts and good work of sharing uh, the love of you, God. Uh, be with uh, each of us. Uh, each of us has concerns in our lives, uh, whether it be relationships or vocational, economic, financial, uh, or issues of justice that seem to overwhelm us. Uh, sustain us in whatever those concerns and cares might be. Uh, you know the thoughts of our hearts without us even thinking them. I ask you to watch over us and keep us until we meet again for worship 11 o'clock on Sunday. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for uh, joining me, and I look forward again to seeing you on Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, in Washington Park for hopefully a little bit of shade and uh, uh, warmth like I'm experiencing right now. Go in peace. Share the love of God. Thanks be to God.